Good afternoon, Dr. Ramis. This is Mustafa Yakub. I am from team number five. So today I'd love to walk you through the process that the team went through to come up with the startup idea. So we applied the methodology of the ideation that we learned from the course. And when we started the course uh, three weeks back, we thought about four ideas. So we thought about startup to do robotics, startup to do uh, car pooling, startup to do uh, recycling, and startup to do an advanced pharma pharmacology practice. Then after that, the team went through an iteration to validate which one of those ideas is applicable to the market. Then the team decided, yeah, you know what, the robotics is one of the most attractive, innovative idea that the team has a passion for. Even with the robotics, we went through another iteration, iteration to understand the, the ideas that you're gonna work there. So we thought about another three scenarios of the robotics. We can use robotics for uh, receptionists at the hotels and the mall, or we can use it at the event to grab attractions, or we can use uh, robotics as a night guard to do like a parameter security. I went through another ideation discussion to validate which product or which scenario you want to go for, and the team decided they want to go for robotics as an eye or a grabber or customer attention grabber in the event in the mall. After that, I'd love to leave it to my colleague Anas to walk you through the next phase of the project and how we're going to do that. Thank you so much, Dr. Ramos. Good afternoon, my name is Anas Al Kilani, and I will continue what uh, my colleague Mustafa briefed up about our project about uh, robotics. So moving forward, we decided to go for robotics for entertainment and to be used in the, in the events. But this idea is a challenging idea. So we decided to go in uh, to do survey to understand exactly what the consumers or how the consumer will receive this idea and what will be uh, the advantages uh, or, or is there any advantages to be grabbed for the branding or for uh, increasing the attention for the products, how, how, how the product will guarantee the successful advertising campaigns for the companies. We framed up uh, a survey of 10 questions and uh, frankly speaking, the results was impressive even for us because we were not expecting something like this to have uh, power impactful for uh, for the consumer mindset and to really uh, bring a memorable uh, ideation in their minds. So some, some of the results, I, I will share it with you, uh, and it's very interesting. 60% of the responders for the survey will accept the invitation from robots uh, to get inside the retail store and to change their mindset of choosing the brands. So this is very, uh, really impressive. Uh, other, uh, other percentage uh, has been captured is uh, 46 from, from the responders would prefer ro uh, the robots than the humans to, uh, to go inside the, the retail stores. This is very impressive. Then after that, we, we went also for, to do more analysis to understand uh, more the, the industry and, and the market where we are going to sell our robots. So now we have the consumer perception and we will move forward now to understand is there really a market? How, 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 how is the market size or how much the market size? How is the buyers will perceive our product offering? So uh, we do have some data. So we, uh, we came to know that the conventions and the, ex the exhibition sector in the GCC uh, market size is around 4.8 billion. We're in the United Arab Emirates, and this is the, the addressable market for us, will be, will be around $653 billion. In addition for that, if we are thinking about replacing the celebrities with the robot idea, is that will be perceived a good idea for the consumers and the, the brand owners, let's say. Uh, yes, because the brand owners, uh, as I mentioned before, they are looking for guarantee a successful advertising campaigns and repositioning their brands. So they will invest in that, especially that some researches, uh, researches uh, output that we found it, uh, that the celebrities sometimes have now a very uh, uh, negative impact in the consumer minds. Why? Because the consumers start understanding that the celebrities are getting more, uh, some money for, uh, for promoting some brands and they, they don't this uh, idea. Thank you very much. I will leave it for uh, my colleague Shaher to Move forward with. Thank you, Anas.
So the idea is uh, robots for entertainment uh, to grab uh, people attention and uh, use it as a new innovative marketing tools. Uh, this is a live example. Uh, it's a video recorded on YouTube in 2015. You can uh, notice here how much the crowd are interested uh, in, in, in uh, uh, witnessing the robot uh, and the interaction that the robots are doing with, with the crowd. Uh, we also tracked this robot, it's called Titan, we tracked it and last week we visited uh, Abu Dhabi uh, uh, Info Security Exhibition and uh, we took some live photo with the same machine and uh, it's impressive uh, how people are uh, amazed with this te advanced uh, technology. So uh, this is a validation for the idea and of course uh, moving forward our business plan uh, will start by uh, first uh, is the selection of uh, the, uh, the products. So uh, uh, up to now we decided on two sizes of uh, robots the uh, 2.4 meter similar to the one you're seeing here on the uh, screen and the smaller size which is 1.2 uh, meter that will have different function for different needs uh, also uh, talking about the uh, market development uh, analysis uh, we will go uh, we will uh, we identified three sales uh, uh, channels uh, the direct sales and indirect sales uh, two sales channels direct and indirect uh, the direct is we go straight to the uh, end user or we can use the uh, management the event management companies as indirect sales where they can promote this product as part of their uh, uh, range of services uh, also uh, we also need to work on the financial analysis financial analysis where we identify first the investment uh, uh, size and also we will be looking at profit profitability and, uh, and the budget required to, to start up the project. Uh, going, going also for, uh, for, uh, forward, we will need uh, uh, to, to, to do some assumption to meet uh, to be validated so uh, first uh, there is a technology readiness this is to be validated also we need to uh, make sure that we can find suppliers that they uh, are willing to partner with us and uh, we will need to uh, more validation on the the, the market size uh, in our uh, in, in, in UAE our uh, focused markets Thank you. I'm looking forward for the final presentation.